Hi everybody, my name is Megan and I'm from John the Library. We all miss you so much at John the and we cannot wait to see all of your smiling faces soon. So in the meantime, let's enjoy each other from afar. Are you ready to sing with me? The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. I want to hear all of you singing at home with me right now. I mean, I guess not hearing you, but let's all sing together. Are you ready? The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends, my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Good job, everybody. It's so nice to sing. And even though I can't hear all of your beautiful voices from here, it feels really good knowing that we're all singing it together, doesn't it? All right, guys, to kick things off, I want to tell you a joke. Are you ready? Okay. So what did the hat say to the sock? I'll go on ahead. You go on foot. Guys, I love socks. Who here loves socks? They keep our feet warm. You can make sock puppets out of them. And you know what? They kind of have a mind of their own. Mine are always going missing in the dryer. I don't know what it is. Maybe there's like some kind of secret portal in there. They just disappear. I don't, I don't even know. I have no idea. Speaking of socks, I am going to read us a story today. It is called Smelly Socks, and it is written by Robert Munch and illustrated by Michael Marchenko. Are you guys ready? Everybody scooch in. Smelly Socks. I'm going to do my best to hold this so everybody can see. When Tina wanted new socks, her mom took her to the only store in town. This store only has black socks, said Tina. Can we please go across the river and get some really good socks? We can't drive right across the river because there's no bridge there, said Tina's mom. You know, it's a long, long, long way to the only bridge. And besides, we don't have a car. Man. So Tina went to her grandfather and said, can you please take me across the river in your boat? I want to buy some really good socks. The motor is not working on the boat, said her grandfather. Row, said Tina. We can row. I will row and you can sit in the back of the boat. You will row, said her grandfather. Yes, said Tina. Rowing is easy. So Tina got in the boat and rowed slowly. Splash, splash, splash. And the boat went in slow circles. Tina rode fast, splash, 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 and the boat went in fast circles. Swish, 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 swish. This boat has forgotten how to row, said Tina. You sit in the back and tell me what to do, said her grandfather. So Tina sat in the back and told her grandfather how to row, and her grandfather rowed all the way across the river. Then they walked all the way through the town to the big sock store. I'm pretty sure that store has incredible socks. Just look at it. At the store, Tina tried on socks that were too big, socks that were too little, socks that were too blue, and socks that were too pink. Tina tried on millions and millions of socks. Finally, she found a, fair, a perfect pair of red, yellow, and green socks. Then, since it was almost time for dinner, Tina and her grandfather ran back to the boat, and this time, the boat sort of remembered how to row. Tina rowed round and round and round and still got to the other side. It's a lot of socks. When they got back, Tina ran home and yelled, socks, socks, wonderful socks. These are the best socks I've ever seen in my life. Grandpa rowed me all the way across the river to get these socks. I am never going to take them off. Never, said Tina's mother. Mm, never, said Tina. Uh-oh, said Tina's mother. 
So Tina wore her socks for a long time. She wore them for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten whole days. Ew. Her mother said, Tina, I know you love these socks. Just let me wash them really quick. They will start to smell if you don't get them washed. Socks, socks, wonderful socks, said Tina. I am never, never going to take them off. After Tina wore her socks for 10 more days, the kids at school said, Tina, what a smell. Change your socks. Socks, wonderful socks, said Tina. I am never, 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 never going to take them off. They even have stink lines. After Tina wore her socks for 10 more days, a whole flock of Canada geese flew over her house and dropped right out of the sky from the smell. Two moose walked through her yard and fell over from the smell. Ducks, raccoons, and squirrels fell over when she walked to school. Finally, even a skunk fell over from the smell. Tina's friends decided to do something. They all came to her house and knocked on the door. Blam, 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 blam. When Tina opened the door, they grabbed her and carried her to the river. There they held their noses and took off her socks. Some of the kids held Tina and some of the kids washed the socks. Scrub, 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 scrub. All the fish in the river floated up to the top and acted like they were dead. I don't believe that. The kids washed some more. Scrub, 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 scrub. All the beavers ran out of the river and went to live with Tina's grandfather. The kids washed some more. Scrub, 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 scrub. Far down the river, people said, how come the river smells like dirty socks? Finally, the socks were clean. Wow, said Tina. They look nicer when they are clean. Wow, said Tina. They smell nicer when they are clean. Wow, said Tina. They feel nicer when they are clean. Tina put on the socks and said, I am going to wear clean socks from now on. The beavers left her grandfather's house and went back into the river. The Canada geese got up off the ground and flew away. The fish decided that they were not dead after all and jumped and splashed in the river. Tina went to her mom and said, my socks are nice and clean and I think it would be very nice if you took me to town to get me a nice new red, yellow, and green shirt. Promise to wash it, said her mom. No, said Tina. If I wait long enough, the kids at school will wash it for me. I love that story. How smelly are your socks? I really hope that you've changed them since you've been home because if not, yikes. All right, guys. So I would like to sing another song with you because you know, it's what we do. Um, have you, okay, first of all, I just wanna know, did you guys hear that thing about black socks? I, I heard, I don't know if it's true. I heard though that black socks never get dirty. Did you know that? I'll tell you how I know. <clears throat> I learned it from a song. Are you ready? I've got some black socks. Black socks, they never get dirty. The longer you wear them, the stronger they get. Sometimes I think I should wash them, but something keeps telling me, no, no, not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet. Black socks, they never get dirty. The longer you wear them, the stronger they get. Sometimes I think I should wash them, but something keeps telling me, no, no, not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet. What do you think? Do you think that they get stronger the longer you leave them? I bet they get stinkier. <laughs> Guys, I found something at the top of my stairs today and I have no idea where it came from. <clears throat> it's this treasure box and when I opened it up it was entirely filled with socks I don't understand where it came from 
I don't even, they're not even put together. They, they aren't even with their partners. I have a challenge for all of you. I want you to get as many mismatched socks as you can. You can do it for fun. You can set a timer if you want. You can race your brothers and sisters or mom and dad. I wanna see how fast you can find these pairs and put them together. See how fast you can put the socks back together into their partners, into their matches. And I want you to comment on the video and tell us how fast you went or how much fun you had or even send us pictures of your crazy socks because we love socks. Also, I'm gonna challenge you to one other thing if you want to. So I've got these words on the wall. The main one here is socks. How many words can you think of that rhyme with socks? I've got fox, lox, ox, fox. Write them all down. Write them in different colors if you want some rainbow writing. Color them in, draw pictures, whatever you want. If you wanna share those with us, we would love to see those too. So guys, we're at the end here of our story time and I'm so glad that I got to spend some time with you today. It was so nice to be able to sing and read with you and I cannot wait to see all of your smiling faces again very soon. So have a great day, everybody. Bye. I miss you. Bye, guys.